Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. Today we are talking about the difference blending mode. The difference blending mode is something that I use on almost every single project that I'm on. Um, it's a very underutilized and sometimes under the radar tool uh, within After Effects and I wanted to cover it because I think it's extremely useful. Um, so let's jump in. I'm going to show you exactly what it is and how it can help you with your daily workflow. All right, so the difference blending mode. What is it? All right, it's a blending mode within After Effects. So you're probably all familiar with add, lighten, screen, overlay, uh, that kind of stuff. But here we actually have something called the difference blending mode. Now chances are you've probably went through and clicked through a bunch of different blending modes and seen this and might or might not have thought much about it. Um, I find that this is something that is extremely useful and uh, so much so I want to dedicate a whole uh, tutorial about it. So let me show you how it can be useful to you. So let's say you have a plate that the client gave you and it's this animation and they say, all right, uh, we need you to line this up exactly how it is in this video. Okay, so uh, we know it's gotten bigger and the time has shifted a little bit. So we need you, <coughs> pardon me, we need you um, to, to make it exact because we need to replicate it. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the plate. So I have the plate here. Let's bring it in. And right away, um, we'll see if we toggle the new plate versus the old plate. It's completely different. All right, so I think most of us would probably come in here and we would knock down the transparency, say, to 50%. Great way to start. So let's do that, and let's just figure out where it is. So, okay, they still need to fill up, I'm seeing, so I need to continue to move my clip this way, this way. Oh, this guy is almost there. Oh, you know what, I've went too far. Let me go back. Okay, so that's pretty close. Oh man, it's somewhere around here. <laughs> um, so that's probably about it, but it looks like, you know, based on this text, it looks like it's probably been scaled up. So let's start scaling it. Let's, um, let's scale this up. Oops. Let's go to our scale and let's just scale it up and let's try to line up and reposition so that we know that the text is accurate. I'm going to zoom in here. So let's try to let's try to look at the text and see if we can get that to match. Scale, scale, scale. Oh man, we still got a ways to go here, huh? So let's just scale, scale, scale. Maybe something like that. Somewhere in here. All right, so the text is kind of getting close. So as you can tell already, this is taking a while. All right, but let's just, let's continue. And now that we got the text kind of close, it looks like we need to figure out when, when the, um, when the timing matches up. So in our clean, in our original plate, okay, we can see that this poop emoji is already here and we can see that this guy's here. So in our new plate, um, that's not there. So we need to go further in time and further, further, oh, that looks pretty good. All right, so we're pretty damn close. All right, so I'm just looking at this guy. If you look, we park off this frame to that frame. It appears to match. That's cool. So that's great. So I think I think we have something that's that's pretty close. So let's put our transparency back up and let's toggle them and see how we did. Ah, as you can see, there's still a slight discrepancy. So this can something you could probably line up, but it's just going to take time, you know. And you'll never really be fully confident that you actually got it right. So this is where the difference blending mode comes into handy. So let's go to our mode and let's go to difference. Okay. As soon as we hit difference, we're going to see that we're getting some colored edges as well as a lot of black. So what this is telling us is black is where it matches exactly perfect. And the colored edges is a difference in pixel values um, that After Effects is showing us. So we know we're off, okay? So we know the time's right, but obviously we have a position or a scale that's actually off. So let's start, let's start nudging that around. So let's go to our position 
Actually, let's go to our scale because I think our scale maybe is, you can see if you go way off, that's what happens. But let's just knock this down. Let's look at maybe this guy. Okay. So he's probably right there. And then let's just start moving. You can see as I move it, I'm getting less and less, oh, less and less black. And you can see when I get it perfect, it goes completely black. And when it's completely black, that's After Effects saying, hey, there's no difference that's happening here. It's exactly the same. So let's take it off a of difference mode. Let's set it back to normal. And let's do a toggle now. Now when we do a toggle, we can see it's exactly the same. And we know that it's exactly the same because pixels don't lie. I mean, numbers don't lie, and that's essentially what this is telling us. You know, even if we're one pixel off, it's gonna show us that we're one pixel off. Uh, kind of a cool effect too, maybe for a <laughs> music video or something. Um, so that's cool. So let's, uh, let's do one other example here. For our second example, um, let's say you have a piece of text, and I find that this is often the case to where uh, you need to line this up or you need to get the kerning exactly right or whatever it is. So right now I have a logo. So same situation with this. We have a logo that is, um, it's, uh, it's been repoed and we need to match it exactly it's for a print ad or, or whatever it is. So let's take that and then let's bring in the original logo. All right, and let's start scaling it up. And then this time we're just gonna go ahead and set it to difference right away. Okay, so let's set the difference and let's put it here. And let's scale, I'm gonna keep scaling and then maybe I'm gonna line up this plus here. Looks like we might be a little too big. So let's go down, 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 somewhere like that maybe. And then let's line up this plus until it until it matches perfect. You can see we're almost there. Perfect. So now it's black because it's showing us that there's no difference and this is only this this image isn't taking up the entire screen. So let's set this back to normal. And let's toggle it on and off and we have a perfect match. So that's it. Um, it's it's there's really not much more to it. I mean, you can make cool effects with it if you want to. You can play with different color variations, and you'll get interesting results. But honestly, I find that this is more of a utility. It's something that you can use in your daily workflow uh, with complete confidence and letting your clients know that okay, the kerning is, is exact, the scale is exact. Um, so. I hope this helps you guys and I hope that you found it useful and I will see you on the next one.